Today's show is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audio book download and 30 days free trial by going to howtokillanhour.com slash free to get stuck into over 180,000 titles for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. Who rolls with an MP3 player nowadays, Ace? Um, I, do you know what? More people than you think, to be fair. What, specifically an MP3 player? Or well, an iPod's an MP3 player. Yeah, but I don't know anyone that rolls with an iPod anymore. It's it's always they've got their phone now. Nah, people got their iPod touches. All right, shout out to all those dinosaurs. That's yeah. how <laughs> that's how to kill an hour.com slash F R E E if you want to get involved in that. Are you serious? This is How to Kill an Hour, Marcus Bronzy. My name's Ace What's going on? Ah yes. Uh, there's many ways to kill an hour out there, but right now you're killing one with us. Love to all of those that are listening via the Apple Podcast app and Acast, plus all of those that are getting in ratings and comments like the 17th Floor says that this is one of the podcasts that as soon as it lands in their iTunes, they listen straight away. Uh, Posh JP says Ace and Marcus have great chemistry on the show. They're both funny and entertaining and cover great topics in an extremely funny way. The more random the conversation, the funnier it can be. Keep up the good work. I feel like I got a little pat on the head. I don't keep up the good work. Yeah, that's like what your teacher says to you. Yeah, thank you very much, Posh JP. Anyway, I did say I was going to give out a couple of um of those Star Wars numbskull hats to people that got like involved and had good and interesting ratings and comments. So yeah, we sent out a couple of those to you guys. Go on. Uh, also, big up to uh, I'm going to struggle with this name, but I'm going to try anyway. El Bublo. He's, <laughs> He's like a Spanish Michael El Bublé Bublé fan. Who says essential listening and every episode is guaranteed dynamite. Highly recommended. Thank you very much for your comment. Cheers. Love for all the five stars, man. I like that. Uh, if you want to shout out next week's episode, please make sure you subscribe, rate and comment on iTunes. We'll read out the best ones. It's only fair though, isn't it, Ace? That's right. I think the more creative the comment, the better, right? Yeah. If you took time out to comment and be creative, then it's only right that we take time out to read them out. Yeah, 100%. Uh, if you don't know how to rate and comment us, we made it real simple. We put a link in the description. So go into that and just click that. So uh, before we get stuck in today's show and ask each other how we've been killing a bit of time, we've got a guest in here today. What's going on, bruv? Everything and nothing, man. What's going on with you, man? Everything and nothing. He's such a... He always talks with such wisdom. Have you know... Everything. I'm going to put this down now. Nah, do you know... It's, it's not that I talk wisdom. It's that you think too much. I've been saying this to someone. You think too much, too deeply into what I'm saying. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, what's going on? Everything's going on. Enough is going on. Like, it's as simple as that. You know it's what It's not saying? that deep. He's it's right. It's not that right. deep. Right. It's the way he says it, though. everything and nothing is actually going on right it, now. That's it. That's it. All right, Mr. Everything and Nothing. What's your, <laughs> what's your name, bruv? Joe Grant. You know? Yes. S and one. I know. Yeah. What do you do, bruv? Like, like, like me and Ace don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put it in a, in a, you know, that sound more professional. I'm a musician. Every, everything and Nothing. I'm a that's musician. That's You're a musician. What I am. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, when I say musician normally, they're like, what do you play an instrument? I'm like, oh, damn, bruh. <laughs> 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 no, bro, I'm an artist, rap artist, yeah. Big up. Nice, man. Thanks for joining us, bro. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. that, Joe, man. And um, you know, this is technically a gadget podcast. Ace, Joe's quite into into stuff, you know. Like gadgets. Gadget and techie, you know. More than really? you think. Bruv, you know, I was meant to I was meant to bring my um, Apple Watch to show you lot, bruv. Yeah. I swear, but I didn't charge it last... No, I didn't charge it all day today, so... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. But things... Don't buy it, don't buy it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, but you know... But, Why not? Nah, because you know what? It's, I'm the fool that buys everything. But straight buys away. Anything. That's it. Buy it. No, I don't buy it straight away. That's, that's what it is. Like, but you know, like you see something and you're like, rah, sick. It's probably rubbish, but I'm getting it. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying that's that's me. You but don't want to be left behind. No, I just I just want it. Okay. I'm just a man that gets anything that he wants within time. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying? So I won't, I won't go broke buying it. But if at one minute I thought to myself... Right, hard, won it. I'm going to get. It's going to get. It, like it. inevitably, what the reviews are. Inevitably, what what if, if people complete tell me yes, yeah, rubbish, and show me. I'm still going to get for the sake of maybe one day I'll be playing with it for two hours, have fun for two hours, and after I won't like it anymore. But at least I had fun for two hours of my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's it. See, he's he's into it. You know, we might before we get stuck into it, Jodo. What have you got up, up and coming project wise? Just let the people know what they can listen to find out about you and how they can get in contact with you um, project wise I haven't got anything up and coming I'm just I'm just doing what I'm doing you know I'm on stage like just yeah. putting music out man because that's 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 the fun of it I make me up last year I couldn't write I had writer's block so now I can write I'm just doing whatever I feel like man. so that's what it is cool. playing in that playground what have you put out recently though <coughs> um I got a ch- I can swear on there innit yeah, 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 yeah I got a tune um 
them mutes. We should just beep all the all the swear words that Joe says. Just for the sake of it, we can say it. So it's called "fuck them mutes." <laughs> <laughs> what's, it called? what's it called, Joe? <laughs> Bro, I'll just call it the radio edit version. You know what? Like, what you think? Yeah, you think yeah. I can't do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what you've done. I like it, man. It's very yeah. bumpy. And yeah, man, it, like 2016 music wise, we've got a lot, lot to look forward to from you, right? But I, basically, as much as I've done the last two months, I've got enough music to put out two songs a month if I wanted to. Okay, you know what I'm saying so, like. I don't know if I will. I just take it as it comes, do it as it comes. You know what I'm saying? Like today, I get bored. Cool, I'll put out a song. That's how it goes. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Wicked. All right, Joe. Um, so yeah, that's Joe the musician. If people want to find out more about you, how can they do that? Um, Twitter, Joe Grand, someone, all the rest of my social networks. Like even if even if you've even if I haven't shouted out, just just go and check and see if I got it anyway. You know what I'm trying to say? Joe okay. Grand, someone, everything. That's all, man. Simple. Yeah. Well, that's how to kill an hour. Thank you for killing one with us, Joe. I'm w- <laughs> 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 that was a quick hey, that was quick cuss like yeah, rapid time, time flies when you you're having that, fun that's it we know that when I'm here it just that's it it's yeah. good man but um, yeah Joe every single week me and Ace ask each other how we've been killing a bit of time this week so it's only right to ask you have you been killing some time this week um, I've been sending emails that's what I've been doing I've yeah? been sending a lot of emails and you know by the time you look it's 10 o'clock in the morning the next thing you look is 5 and then bang you, it, it's, it's game over that's it's it. crazy right it's crazy bro but nothing keeps you busy like business isn't it yeah that's it what sort of emails have you been sending um sending out my song still hey so you got my email no uh, <laughs> I really did it we can actually check now if you want nah nah it's cool man it's cool I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pressure though but you know what's funny is when but you said like your new tune's called Mute, Fuck yeah. the mute, yeah. You gotta beat that one out for you, Joe. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know, the saddest thing is, God, I yeah. have actually got your email. Oh, oh, like, Ace, no, you know what? Yeah, but Billy will tell you it wasn't open, does it? Nah, but do you know it what? Yeah, open. I was saying the other day. You know, like um, I was with Austin the other day from you know. The, oh, he's the, the dead yeah. That's what I was with Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Music and producer. And he was saying, he was saying extra, stuff yeah? to me. Yeah. Music producer. Sorry, is he had a music music manager? Yeah. Music music manager. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. And I was saying to him, like he was saying certain things. I don't want to expose what he's saying and everything, but it was. I was thinking to myself, right, cool. I sent out emails to a lot of DJs and everything, and at one stage, I thought, you know what, like, I I I can't be upset if people don't if DJs don't listen to my music because you know like come on you've known there's someone from yeah. you know what I'm saying but my problem with music and probably even life because I, I like to look at a lot a million things that I'm not consistent you know what I'm saying and you know when you're inconsistent sometimes it kind of makes people lose a little bit of faith in you so I don't think that's what my problem is no no it's not it's probably, I'll not, tell you not, what it's probably is, not yours I get sent so a million much million emails no, so no, much music imagine. but another thing is I'll be honest if I if I've seen this email, yeah, mm. and I've seen fuck them mutes, <laughs> and I'm on Saturday and Sunday morning, no one is on, on the BBC. I don't know how I'm gonna I squeeze know. that in, you know what I mean? That, that one's called them mutes still. I should have, okay. I should have, I should have, yeah, yeah, yeah. them mutes, I yeah, would have been like, put them cool, mutes like, still. but also, I'm the kind of person I need a follow up phone call, like, yo, there's something that's gonna land in your email. Hey, so I haven't got your, this is, right, I'm we're gonna, we'll land it, we'll land it today, we'll land it today. You see what I need, I need the like, I'm gonna slide in Ace's DMs, man. <laughs> Yo, bro, let me get your number, though. Cause I need the phone call saying, as well, I... like, just a little uh, insane. He did on Thursday. What are you doing on Thursday? What are you doing on Thursday? No, I like Joe Grant, man. I think, you know what I mean? So, yeah, love, man. No, nah, real talk. Nah, it's nah, love nah, first. It's nah, but, good, nah, like, but that's but You know what I'm saying? Like, it may not be the case, but yeah. sometimes I think too much and I think it's a raw cool. Like, people may hit me up. Artists may hit me up sometimes. They made a song two years ago. It never went their way. They came back two years later. Rah, grand, what, what, Bridges? Can I get a tune for you? No, you mm. can't, bruv. Like, you wasn't consistent. What are you going to do with this tune? So that's the, that's, right. that's the way I think about it DJ-wise as well. So like, cool, some people, um, I know people get a million emails and that's why I've got to chase it up. But at the same time, I can understand to myself, sometimes the tune may be a banger, but what's the worth of playing it? What's he going to do? Where's he going to be in a couple of months? Is he going to stop making music again? You get what I'm saying? So, this is the way that I think personally. I don't get mad at people. I get mad at myself for not doing certain things and that's how it goes. And I do something about it and that's it. Keeping it real. Mm. Keeping it real. And that's, I think that's a message for a lot of artists as well. Because yeah. like, um, there's some artists do get angry, yeah, isn't it? they do. 
Yeah, but what did they do about it? Ah, no, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Do Ace, do you remember the days when man used to go outside um, all, all one extra and, and wait for wait people for and everything? You know what I'm trying to that, say? Yeah, bro, yeah, I did that a couple... I did that last... Um, the year before last, Some you know, people don't, so don't really know that. Brother, I have no problems doing that. Yeah. Giving people CDs and everything. Get me? Like... It's it's mad, bro. Everyone's doing free downloads nowadays, cause mm. like free. No one believes in their product enough to do a CD. It's you mad. think like so? You think that's like kind of lessening the music, making it a bit more cheaper? I think I think it is because when you really think, do you know how many um, supporters I got that say to me, bro, why did you not put that on CD? Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say like, oh, where can I? How can I download CD? You know how many people yeah. don't have a laptop? We're yeah. in we're in an era where. Everyone has a mobile phone and not a lot of people have a laptop. You know what I'm trying to say? So mm. we put out free downloads. How are they supposed to download it? You know what I'm trying to say? No one even knows about those download apps. A lot of people, no, well, well, the majority don't know about them. Mm. The minority do. So you're just lessening the amount of people that can get your music. Where if you did put it on CD and that and you believed in yourself, mm. those CDs will go. You know, it's funny that you say that because like... I never even thought about it though, until like, so I've, been, I've gone like the last couple of years when it's just been like downloads, downloads. Yeah. I put it in my emails. Today, someone gave me a CD. I got an Anderson Pack album on CD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a physical copy. Yeah. Okay. Like the day came and I met him today at the station and I was mad excited. Like, yeah, bro, of course. I got a physical CD. Of course. So do you think, like, and I haven't had a physical CD for time. So it's the same sort of reminiscent people got when they used to get uh, vinyl. like vinyls and that. Yeah. So it's almost like, well, now we're in the future, CDs are exciting. Again. No, of course it is. It's but, nuts. But you also got to remember, all right, you go out and you buy a CD, yeah? mm. like, what, just like when you used to buy albums and everything, you used to read the book, uh, yeah. you used to take time and everything. Watch the you, production, you know look saying? at the so artwork. You, you, you know everything that was going yeah, on. So yeah, the yeah. thing is that, like, when it comes to a free download, cool, I'll download that now. You might even forget that's on your phone yeah, or your right. device and everything, right. you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't forget a CD's on the thing. Like my, when I put a CD in that set, especially if I've paid £8 for it, I swear to God I pay that album like 5,000 times. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Because at the end of the day, like, I can't respect freeness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't respect, like, I respect something that I paid money for. Even if it's a pound, I respect something like that. So when it comes to someone saying, yeah, yeah, download my thing. Cool, I downloaded it. But I don't need to remember it because you get it to me for free. If I gave you a pair of trains for free tomorrow, does that mean you're going to wear them? No, it doesn't. But I bet if you buy those those Yeezys, you're going to wear them. You get what I'm trying to say? Or you're going to remember they're there. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say? I might sit on them and let them get some value for no, a few years. Yeah. Either way, you're going to remember yeah. they're there. You get what I'm trying to say? And this is this is how I believe the world is. Like that that whole free download. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't celebrate that stuff, man. It's not good. Really? No, no, no. I, Not even like, because I mean, a lot of artists use it for promotion, innit? Oh. Like, oh, like, I don't like, it's just to get to get the buzz out there. Like, all right, yo, but, like, all right let me stop you right there. Technically, yeah. Yeah. I remember I said technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to try and battle me on this. But how do you get a new fan from a free download? Because it's, it's like, I. So some people may not want to invest in something that they don't know in it. Go on. So you might give it more of a chance if it's free. So like, well, I ain't paying for it. Let me just have a listen. And then you might be like, well, okay, this is hard. Then let me go back and buy their thing. But we got YouTube. We got SoundCloud. That's true. We got got all these things. Like, all right, let's put it in the ways of the road, yeah? Mm. When you're a dealer, you don't give away your product of course not you know what I'm saying you give samples of it out. you know what I'm yeah. saying ask musicians samples is YouTube it is SoundCloud right. it, it, it is freestyles on, on fire in the boost it is all these things you know what I'm trying to say mm. it, so we've got all these things there's we've got ways, all these samples basically. so there's no yeah. excuses technically if someone wasn't going to buy your if someone w- didn't buy your music before it's not very likely they're going to buy your music later mm. you know what I'm trying to say simple as that you can't actually get a new fan from a free download it just doesn't work like that I've always thought like it's, it must be difficult for the eyes because like studio time and all that ain't cheap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but, we, yeah but we've been through yeah, that era yeah, yeah, yeah. and people have still succeeded. Mm. So technically, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you've already succeeded for an era, then you know what I'm trying to say? Like when you really think about it, all right, let's say, let's say, um, what are they called? Pepper, Dr. Pepper or whatever they're called, yeah? Mm. Let's mm-hmm. say they're giving out free cans, a, mm. a free crates of cans and everything. So, you don't drink Dr. Pepper. You're, you're, you're a Ribena man. Yeah. yeah. So I'll give you a crate what of Dr. Pepper. you mean Pepper. I'm a Ribena man? No, I'm just... I'm, 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 Look at me when you say Ribena for you. I'll give you a crate of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, like, you're going to drink it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to drink it because it's free. 
Mm. Cool, like you drink it, give it to your friends, whatever, whatever. By the time that crate runs out, you're gonna go back and buy a Rabina. Right. You know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, like, yeah. so so if you wasn't buying up to paper before, it's very unlikely they're gonna buy it afterwards. Okay. So you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and yeah. that's and that's just the way that I see things work. If right. you didn't buy my music before, although I although obviously my videos were my greatest songs, because that's how it always works, because you always promote your greatest songs, then why are you gonna buy my album afterwards? Mm. That's that's just where I see the world. So that's how you've been killing a bit this week? Huh? That's, that's how you've been killing some time this week, sending I've emails. You, I've been sending emails. And, and, and putting it out there, putting a good sample out. I've been, I've, been, I've been pushing this new artist that I feel that I am out there. That's yeah. all. Interesting. Well, like Joe said, go check. What's the SoundCloud again, please? Joe Grand SM1. Everything Joe Grand SM1. That's Everything Joe Grand a musician. Should, in case you want to press pause right now and go and listen to some of his music. There you go. Yeah. So you listen to some of his what, music. What happens and, if no, nah, no, nah, do it after because what happens if they get stuck into that <laughs> into that tornado that I am? You know what I'm <laughs> that's a really bad. That's a really bad sell, innit? I should not do that. I know. Yeah, don't do that. In fact, don't listen to Joe Grant <laughs> right after the show. Um, so yeah, that's how you've been spending some time this week. Yeah, uh, Ace. What about yourself, bro? Um, I feel like I just keep saying this every week. I've been working, G. Yeah, yeah, loads of radio. Really, I went. I, I hosted the Future Show. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, which was fun. Um, future made me, makes me feel like I needed to be like 10 years younger though really how yeah cause like I liked it but I couldn't appreciate it yeah, yeah I needed yeah, like yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah, yeah. if I was like in my uh, like, maybe, like, like yeah 21 yeah, 19 yeah. 21 I'll be going mad you'd be fuck ups and comments yeah <laughs> like <laughs> I, just, I, I just felt like I couldn't enjoy it with yeah, everyone yeah. like I was just watching it it was more like just watching it and appreciating it but yeah. The gas, the level of gas, it's nuts. Like yeah. kids moshing, like it's mad. It's mad, and I love the energy. Like, and it's one of the ones where it's like, if you want, if you're not a future fan, you'd probably be one after. Yeah, just like it's a good show. What what song tore it down the most? Um, shit. <laughs> shit. You ain't talking about shit. That obviously, <laughs> jump man. Um, do you know what's like? Crept and Conan come out during the set. Okay. Yeah. So they come out and they do like, oh, don't waste my time yeah. Yeah. in the middle of the set. That yeah. was a moment. Um, Sneakbo actually had a little surprise performance before, came out before, before Future. Western came out as well. So it was yeah. one of them shows where everybody wanted to jump on. Yeah, that's it. And, and it was nice. Happened. It was good. Yeah, that's it was it. wicked, man. It was good. It was, a, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. Okay. It was a good vibe, man. What about you, bro? Um, now I've got more questions about future though okay, go, go for it <laughs> were they like dirty sprite drinkers do you think you know what's funny about like the future thing so like I'm hosting the show yeah and I, like I don't sometimes I don't really realise how these shows go down but the artist literally turns up at the time they're supposed to go on the stage yeah. <laughs> so they're not sitting in the dressing room like the, the yeah. DJ's in the dressing room mm. but the artist is so like around the corner somewhere or on a bus or in, he literally turns up at the 10pm gets on the stage and then leaves as soon as he's finished his performance gets just leaves straight away he doesn't wait around doesn't take pictures that's sick doesn't though. do nothing because you know that all right remember eddie murphy raw yeah yeah and and the way the cameras made well, it yeah, seem well, that so he yeah. comes yeah, in he comes yeah. straight it's through the building and then he goes straight on, on stage you know what i'm saying that, that's that's sick exactly that, like that interesting so like i didn't get to like there was no time for him to interact with yeah. no you didn't get to have like a drowsy nah, dirty sprite dribbly conversation with sprite, him man. that might be the reason why he does it though you know no one's there yeah. like he doesn't want to hang around people that he doesn't actually know true no one's there. why yeah. would you why would you want to what a different yeah, country that's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah no yeah. definitely but i heard that, like because they were they did amsterdam on a saturday yeah and i heard the amsterdam show was a bit more calm Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. But I can Amsterdam. imagine. Yeah, I can yeah, imagine that's like, that's everyone's that's just everyone like was buzzed yeah, everyone's buzzing. Yeah, everyone's just buzzing, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Gone, so gone. I think he's, he did like like about twenty minutes less than he usually did in right. Amsterdam. But okay, yeah, I, could, I thought it would be good in Amsterdam. Like, I would love to go and see a hip hop show in Amsterdam. I I don't know about that, man. You know, like I was speaking to someone the other day about it, and like. If I go to Amsterdam, I want to go to Amsterdam. I yeah, don't want to yeah, bring yeah. in, but everyone in England came to Amsterdam, bro. Yeah, I heard about like, that. Yeah, I, I can't like, go to another country. It's like going to Napa. Country. You're in Napa. Yeah, no, I can't. And, just, and it's just like your ends. It's like this is, I'm saying, yeah. like, what's the worth of leaving the country to be <laughs> in the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's exactly, mad. Exactly what you mean. Every, every, you've left and everything. Yeah, I'm going Napa. Your next door neighbor. Yeah, yeah, I'm going too. You know what I'm saying? Like, them things are, like it's mad because like, I don't want to see you, fam. <laughs> it's crazy, I know exactly bro. what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Madness. 
Good point. Any more future questions? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. No, more. Uh, no, I did see that. I saw. I only saw a little bits of it. Yeah. And um, I saw when he was asking about who the baddest. Did you guys see this about who the baddest chick in the UK was? No. Mm-hmm. And he mentioned uh, when Charlie. Did, when did he do that? This is uh, he did an interview with Charlie Sloth last week, and Charlie. Yeah. Uh, put him onto UK's Black Rose. You must. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Joe Grant knows that. He's probably, yeah, yeah. Probably been in the. I don't. DMs. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> man. I don't know. Well, big up to her, yes, Nikki. Uh, she's a. She's like very humble girl and hot. Like this is be honest. Let's put it out there. So yeah. Um. Apparently, Future was kind of looking for her, even though he's like okay got mm. his own thing at the moment. So it was. A, it was a good. It was a good holler for her. That was a good moment. Yeah. Apparently, she was in all the like the US blogs and stuff, saying that Future was on that case. Wow, it's a good look. What was the crowd like as well? Um, it was. What was the mix like? I mean, I'm just interested. What, what, sort of, what sort of crowd? Yeah, Future brings out girls, guys. Yeah, girls would like trying to get Future. Yeah, girls are on Future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> girls are trying to get Future, hmm. and the man them just wanted to go mad. Interesting. Like, girls so girls want to turn Sierra, you know. What I'm yeah. that's, that's what to do. So it, his baby. Yeah. It, if you were a civilian, I know it's hard for you guys to think mm. like that. But if you were a civilian, do you think you could go to a future concert and get a girl? Um. Well, after the show or during? No, during the show. No, nah, no. Nah, Obviously, not during the show. They don't care about. That's not happening, cause really? after the show, bro. Love it, man. Listen, I was in an Usher <laughs> concert the other day, bro, and yeah. Usher said, "Any single ladies in the house?" My girl put her frigging hand up, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so, so you think out, so you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's the happening, bro. You know, it's the happening right, when you're right. in a concert. That's it. You, you, you need to, like, you actually need to go after the concert where the girls feel like, oh, he didn't take me yeah, home. It's and it's like a funeral. You get me? That like, they're sad afterwards. You're yeah. like, oh, don't worry, baby. I'll take you home. I'm your future. You know? Yeah. Like, wow. like, throw a quick corny wow. line at that. <laughs> He's wow. done this before. Yes. I don't know, man. Joe's been about, you know. <laughs> He's done this before. Joe's been about. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm all out of future questions now, bro. Uh, future Hendrix. <laughs> you be talking about shit. shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what? Me? Um, yeah. Bruv, you know you know what? Last week, I said I was doing a lot of Netflix. I've not been out, bruv. I've been doing a lot of stuff indoors. You know, I said I was doing a lot of Netflix binging. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I rinsed all of Netflix. Do you there was know no what? Netflix Do you know what? I'm lying. I've done something else this week. Yeah, what, yeah. Else, what else did you do, Joe? I've been watching Once Upon a Time cards. Have you seen that? No, no. I'm not going to tell you to watch it because I'll prompt because it's because it's good enough to watch, but you know, like, it's not good enough to recommend that. I'm turn around and say, oh, allow it, Joe, man. You have me, but I've been watching that. Like, what's, that, like, what's that about? It's yeah. about, um, so every single fairy tale book character is cursed by the, the evil queen in Snow White, yeah, and they come to our world. This really sounds like... No, nah, that's that greasy. Know. It's <laughs> greasy. Listen, so like, so like, and then there's Rumpelstiltskin, yeah, but every story you think you know, yeah. you don't know it because Rumpelstiltskin was in this thing. Like, he's he's the most, like, dangerous character in, in everything, the most powerful in that. So he's going around making deals with people and saying, all right, if I do this for you, then you have to do something for me later and he can see the future and that. So he's right. trying to put things into place. So you know, like Cinderella going to the ball and that, yeah? Yeah. And it was her fairy godmother. Nah, Rump- Rumpelstiltskin murked the fairy godmother and, <laughs> and he <laughs> sits in the, you know, and he sits in the rest of the ball and said, all right, cool, if I, if I send you to the ball, then you got to give me your first child. And she was like, yeah, yeah, cool, wherever, wherever. And then, and frigging, then, and then he would, but to get the fairy godmother, because he was looking for her, yeah. he had to do something for another king and he was like alright cool if I do something for you then you gotta show me where the fairy godmother is so oh, I can murk her you know what I'm saying so bring it back a bit so he said if I get you into the rave you have to give me your first yeah, child and she was cool no 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 I, I, no, no, I, no, I, I feel, he, I feel he, like there are girls that, nah, that would do that nowadays <laughs> that would agree to that they would they that? would still for they would no no I, it, he, he didn't say the first kid he just made her sign a contract and then okay. and that she was too fast you know what I'm saying but yeah there are probably certain girls that would do that to get into the rave still I think there's a career in that if you're there a promoter is, there, just there get there some contract definitely. signed yeah, there, there is but it's kind of hard still I got into the pan story bro yeah. Peter Pan is the greasiest brother ever is this a series? The series cuz okay. five yeah. seasons at the moment and where are you yeah. now? Up season three. Season three. Peter right, Pan, so Peter Pan. greasy, bro. Like my man's got the Lost Boys going out there, Merkin brothers, cause what? Like he's on. The, but when you think about it, bro, bro Peter Pan you... is a G, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 think about it, God. No, I'm just saying. How have you made Once Upon a Time sound like The Wire, bro? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know, cause I didn't watch The Wire, cause the world watched The Wire. Okay, you know, right, I right, watched right. The Wire like three years from now. Okay. When the world completely stopped talking about, it, cause I can't, I can't watch a program. And someone's told me it's sick. Like right now, you shouldn't watch Once Upon a Time because right. I don't know if I'd like the wire because I like the wire, or if I'd like it because someone told me it was sick. 
Is this is it once upon a time? Is it a, is it a kids thing or is it an adult show? Nah, nah. Bro, I just said brothers are getting murked, cuz. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, is it is it like? Bro, Rob Pastorski ad- walks around with a knife, brother. A okay, big right, one. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, wow. you know it's called the dark one, cuz. You think? Nah, it's I not need, a kids I need thing. To watch cause. this. So it's on Netflix right it's now. It's on Netflix. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm on it's, that then. It's it's Greece, bro. Hey, Peter Fan, yeah. Like, so he's kidnapping newts and everything, making them stay in Neverland and that. Yeah, that's how the Lost Boys became. And when you think about it, bro, like. How did the Lost Boys come to Neverland? Like, it makes sense. You get me? My man is the most, like, other than Rumpelstiltskin, Peter Pan's the most powerful because it's all about having the most powerful magic. Yeah. And when you think about it, Neverland is full of imagination. So all you have to do is imagine that you're the most powerful person in the world. Right. And right. you're going to be the most powerful person in the world. It's as simple as that. My man's Grease, cuz. Grease. All right. Where, what? where do I find this thing? Bruv, I've been watching. It's Netflix, I, yeah? I, I don't Netflix anymore, man, because... I don't. I, I didn't really watch that much. I just. I just stream it, bro. I, I stream it. I, I'm not gonna tell you the site on it. I'm not gonna promote no other sites. So <laughs> I don't know why you lot are promoting Netflix like that. Yeah. that must be a little deal going on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but yeah, that, yeah, friggin'. Oh, it's on Netflix. Okay, cool. But yeah, it's it's it's, it's all right. As I said, I didn't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. So, don't, so don't, please no phone calls. Oh, great, man. Love it, man. It was dead. Yeah. And I don't even... I don't even do, but there's some hotties in there as well, you know. Yeah. I you know you can watch it when there's the hotties in there, cuz. That, that same reason I'm watching that, that VV thing right now. Like that 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 Sinead from Hollyoaks is in there. Oh, right. Okay. Celebrity yeah. Big Brother, which yeah. is popping off right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Joe's been going in. He's been going in. A lot of TV watching. No, we're not, we're, whilst sending emails. But like, don't make me seem like I'm not busy, cause, cause I need to pretend that I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's there? Could you imagine? All right, yeah. Well, you know what? I've I feel like I've rinsed all of Netflix, and, and there's like nothing left of Netflix for me. So I was like, find out how I could watch more stuff on Netflix, and there are these codes that you can get for Netflix. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, have you heard American, about this? American yeah. Netflix. So if you go on Netflix on your computer. Mm. You type in netflix.com slash browse slash genre and you can and there are like these codes that pick out mad like have you ever been you know when you go on Netflix and you watch a few films it'll go yeah. other science fiction films yeah. Yeah. with um like robots in it. Yeah. Like stuff like that. Somebody's listed all of the codes so you can go through and pick out mad very specific um like genres. So I've been doing that, I've been digging through them so there's like an anime sci-fi section yeah, so you know yeah, that goes in the yeah. shell so I've been watching loads of anime and there's an Eddie Murphy section yeah, only. Yeah, yeah. so you put it in you can oh, just check out Eddie Murphy no but that's an Apple thing though isn't it? Um, no no but with Netflix usually you can't access all of the genres unless it, if you watch five Eddie Murphy films it'll yeah. then say to you oh you've been watching Eddie Murphy do you want to watch some more and you go yeah, yeah alright yeah, yeah. cool but now you can sort of access them so you know what we'll yeah. do we'll, we'll put a little link up on the in, in the um description so you can get all of the Netflix genres yeah yeah, yeah. but Joe Grind is not is an illegal download I had so. to cut that off man I, really I was paying for it I was paying for it for like three years man and hardly ever watching it and I'm watching that money that five pound a, five pound a month cause you know that that can go towards something that can go towards some snacks man <laughs> just with that just it's the truth though brother snacking I've, I've got all these things that, that I'm subscribed to that I'm not watching like Sky bruv are you mad who watches Sky anymore bruv I'm paying, it. I'm paying £27 pound a month. But you won't cut it off, though. I'm cutting it off next nah, month. Nah, you won't. You won't nah, do you, you know won't. why, yeah? Because the only person that watches it is my missus, yeah? yeah? Like, my son streams. He's old enough to know how to do that stuff. Yeah, my missus, she yeah. watches E all the time and everything. But cool, she can watch E online. Like, and I'm cut, watch me cut it off. You're gonna want. You're gonna realize how much you miss it. No, no, no. Cause I don't even turn the TV on like that. See? Unless I'm using the Apple TV to actually use from my iPad. Right. I swear to God, it's crazy. I miss my Sky if I cut it off, man. I don't think I, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do a dry you every with Sky. No, that's good. Yeah, but no, because because you got to understand. Think about this. All right, what's the program you're watching ro- right now? Mostly Ace. Uh, when you get time. All right, go on, Ace. When I get time. Yeah. Um, Love and Hip Hop. What channel's that on? It's online. There we go. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What's the program? What's the program you're mostly watching nowadays? Um, what about you, Ronzi? Bro, I've been digging into Netflix this week. All so right. it's been Netflix. So online. So everyone else is watching Big Brother right now. What yeah, channel is that yeah. on, cuz? A free channel. A free cha- you know I'm channel. Channel five. Like, channel five. Oh, so all these, all the things that we're watching, I'm paying for on Sky. No one watches them because they're on the, because we're watching the free channels, cuz. EastEnders. Yo, yeah, you're right. You can watch everything Celebrity, online. All that kind of stuff. They're all free stuff. Bro. Yeah, I can right. cut off my Sky and I still get good reception, cuz. Like, indeed, like, the only reason I need my Sky box for is the good reception. So I don't have to put put the, the hanger in the back of the TV no more you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's it that's old school <laughs> I'm from that Beckham, is guys. old school <laughs> you've just shown some age we've there we've all you know? been there that's age 
that's, that's cool. Age. That's cool, man. I'll, 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 get, I'll get older and wiser. Nah, man. that's <laughs> old school. <laughs> but mm. it's, it's, I saying, I'm done with paying the £27 a month. I'm done paying £5 for Netflix when I can get everything on Netflix from a streaming site. Like, I understand, cool, you pay for convenience. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, so like yeah. I said, yeah. like you, you, it, it continues on to the next thing after you finish watching it on Netflix and everything. I understand that. I'm paying for But yeah, now nah, I, I just... I'm not lazy no more, man. I just, I'd rather, rather, what's it called, not pay for it and just do it myself, man. It's all long. It's all long, man. Mm-hmm, if enough. you want, you can give me a Netflix call if you want to. Give me a um, password. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right with that. Yeah, but if we're not friends anymore, I'm going to change my password that's and cool kick you off. Wait, that's cool. wait, can I change my password and log you, you out can. of everything? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I'll do well, that. It's then. cool because obviously I'll be one of the friends that will keep you cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's there? You know that? Like, I, I want to say something yeah. bad to you. I just be like, you know what? Forget this, bro. Yeah. I just, just won't say it and use his Netflix. That's it. That's it, bro. Trust me. Oh, sick. Yeah, that's I've been killing some time. I've also been checking out um, comp- consumer electronic shows like CES, like that big show where basically we find out all the stuff that we're going to want in our house in five years' time, yeah. basically. They've got these OLED screens, which you can fold up like, roll up like newspapers this. now. Is it? Yeah. So TVs, they've got televisions it. you can roll up like a like a bit of paper now. How much is that? Paper like a, thin. Like two bucks? I don't know if we've, I don't know if prices have even come out. It's going to be more. Go bro, right I might now. have to get it. Just it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> just, like, who cares? I don't watch TV that much. Them, but who cares? I'm going to buy one of them things. Just like I need to buy that yeah. fridge. Like, you know, have you seen that fridge? Nah. The fridge that... that you can log into your app and see what's it, and it's got a camera inside your fridge, a Dude. video or something like that. So no, no, uh, yeah, proper take a picture camera and everything. So every time you log, it, every time you close the fridge door, it takes a picture of what's in your fridge. So if I'm out shopping, I'm like, right, I've got milk. Let me check that. Take look, 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 last picture in that. No, no, no milk. That's such a good idea, bro. Really it's a stupid idea, but the thing is that. Like, because come on, you could just make a list of what yeah, you've actually sick. got. But I like that. I'm idea. buying that, man. It's like five bags. I don't care, but I'm getting it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. Yes, yeah, that. I was just thinking, laptops in the future are going to be so flat. I, I don't. I don't actually care about Phone. that kind of stuff. It is it? You just about the fridge? I, I, it's just about the fridge stuff. Who cares how flat a laptop is? Bruv? I care, bro. What does it slide underneath your frigate into your entertainment? I system? wouldn't mind rolling up my laptop and just putting it in my pocket, like in my jeans pocket. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think it'll still be long lengthwise. So do you. What if you could fold it in half? I, I don't see how that would work. So you're interested in a flat TV? It's gonna go on a wall, bro. So I'm gonna, gonna put space. that. I'm gonna put that in the boot or the back seat because I'm not trying oh. to put it in my pocket. It's not gonna be like a nutcase thing. Right. Yeah, that's it. I, I just want to do it once, and that's it. I don't care if I pay four bags to do it once, bro. <laughs> like, you, know, you know that? Like I just need to do it one day, bro. Yeah. B- Billy said that you could put it on your curtains. That would be a good could idea. Could you put it in your? Cur- well, that's basically a projector, though, isn't it? What if you made your curtains out of that OLED stuff? You just close your curtains. Oh, you just make it. They yeah. are actually your curtains. So you make your curtains out, out of, of that stuff. TV you could close your curtains and watch TV. I don't know. But that would mess you up on a nice day, though. But to be fair, I don't care. I'll close the window. I'll but this is what I'm trying to say. That space can project it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm saying you have to keep the curtains closed to be able to watch the thing, innit? You just wallpaper your wall with it, fam. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Ah! Wallpaper your whole room. The whole room. This TV screen. With OLED. Mm, flat whole screen. Room. That's it's so sick. That is sick. That, that could be that could be the future. Imagine it, wait, imagine doing that with your whole room and then playing games on it. Shit. What, a bunch, like of, cod, a bunch of five like, grand TVs. Like cod. I yeah. can't imagine <laughs> it, man, because I haven't got a bunch of five grand to be. I'm just thinking Call of Duty in a 360 degree room, bro. You'd be in the game. That would be sick. One, cod's crap. And two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and two, like, what's the effort looking all the way around the room just to play? Like, you, you, you can't even. You, when you think about it, yeah, all right, put it this way: TV's got bigger, and we can't even concentrate on one one place no more. You know what I'm saying? We actually look to the left and right to yeah. concentrate what's going on TV. So now you're talking about looking all the way around yeah. your room, not being to focus in the first place, having the worst ADHD ever. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Bro? I, I'd love that. Yeah, I would love that, man. Yeah, good and I'd probably one, still man. look at my phone and try and send a tweet while I'm in this 360 <laughs> degree room and get a shot. But um, you're a bit of a gamer, though, aren't you, Joe? You yeah, do I like a bit of gaming. Like what are you playing at the moment? Um, Lego Dimensions. I know, I know, I got it. It's, it's, it. it's definitely not worth £95, but it's a sick game. £95? No, isn't it? Like, but why is it £95? Because, because they're greedy. <laughs> because they're, <laughs> right, listen to this, yeah. So it's not, did you see that game Skylanders? Yeah. All right. So Lego Dimensions is Warner Brothers version of Skylanders. Right. Yeah. So you have to buy the game for ninety five pounds, 
and then you got to continue buying the characters for twenty five pound each. Oh afterwards. my god! So altogether, the game, if you bought every single piece of the game, it would cost about seven bills. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Well, but what I do like about it is when you do buy the characters or even like you got you got a portal and everything, just like Skylands, you have to build the portal. Like, right. You don't have to, but you want to. You know what I'm saying? So all the characters you buy and everything, you have to build them. You get vehicles, you have to build the Batmobile and then a part of the game you get XP points and then you upgrade the Batmobile then you have to take it apart and rebuild it into the better version of it. And it, it, it makes you feel like, yeah, like... I'm not. I haven't been playing com- just playing computer all day. I've been yeah. doing something practical as well. Okay. So yeah, me and the little man's been playing that. That and Rainbow Six. Yeah, Rainbow Six. All the characters as well. What, what did bro, my name's Joe Grind, not Joe Richie. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> Forget that. My son's buying out of his Christmas money, man. Seven bills <laughs> a, a, like for the game, like the whole got, thing. He's got four characters, man. And three of them came with the game. Forget oh, okay. that, man. Shit. Trust me. That's mad. Mad. Mad, cause trust me. But ninety five, I don't know, man. Ninety five pound, it just seems like games are getting way more expensive. Thank God I get most of them for free, man. Seriously, because I can't, I actually can't afford to live in this 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 era, man. Joe Seriously. did welcome me to the world of free shit, though. I did, I did. Cause yeah, come on, how are you supposed to get rich if you don't get things for free? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to say. <laughs> Wait, no. But you won't give away music for free, though. Yeah, but that's no, but you know what it is. No, no, but that's that's the thing, don't it? Like they're not giving it away no, for no, free. They're they're no, exchanging no, it for value. No, no, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because when I when I thought about it, yeah, all right, let's say yeah. So your one extra show, Asia, you mm. get paid for that, and then you get paid for shows on whatever, yeah. So that's your income. So let's not say now your name, because your name is worth a lot, yeah. Mm. So let's say every single thing you get in your life, yeah. other than your mortgage, yeah, is free. And mortgage, electricity, and gas, that's the only things you pay for. So then you're shopping, you're doing a little deal with Tesco and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're giving you free food. Yeah. And then you got free clothes from this company, free trainers from that yeah, company. Yeah. All the things you actually get in life are free. So all you're doing is stacking the rest of the money after paying all that stuff. That's the way to get rich, you get yeah, what I'm saying? It's no, not definitely. about having a million pound idea. It's about getting all these things, using your fame to get all these things and stacking. Do you know what? Speaking of um, a lot of money and millions and stuff, my mm. friend from the States just let me know that their lottery's just gone up to 1.6 billion. Mm. Crazy if they win it. You know what's nuts though? You don't, you don't win that. If you win that... Yeah, uh, you, I, don't you know what? Do you? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I did message him. I asked him what you'd actually win and he, know, he knows what it's they like. Tax you. Yeah. Basically, you get about 500 million. Yeah. Wow. Plus, plus, if someone else wins it as well, you have to share it with them. Yeah, yeah. So where does the rest of it go? Where, where, where like, does it go? Straight away, they tax you like 39.7%. That's gone before you even seen it. Who gets yeah? that? Obama? I don't know. That's the government gets yeah, yeah. So that goes to uh, then Obama. There's yeah. like taxes per seat. Like every city's state. got their own. Every, every state's, got, state's got, their own got its own tax. tax yeah. Its own tax. And then it's like, if you don't spend it within a year... You get taxed on oh yeah, get, basically day. you get like you're getting less than half the tax. I'd still take the five hundred million. No, no, don't get it dizzy, don't get dizzy. But still, but it's not it's not uh, it's not the billion that we think yeah. it is. Yeah. Whereas over here, when you win a lottery, you win a lottery. Yeah, it's tax free. You don't get taxed tax free. What? I know America's on their thing, you know. So bro. so to get the most out of your winnings, you have to buy what, like houses, you have to put land, something you have to invest like into something. Yeah. Shares. So I read, I read this thing the other day, yeah, and it kind of blew my mind. It's like, it's just the sickest way for the government to raise revenue. Yeah. Because they, like, everybody's buying lottery tickets. Yeah. And they've just made half a billion dollars. Exactly. That's for do, Like, up. for doing nothing. Yeah. Just for giving somebody the opportunity to be a millionaire. Yeah, but it's betting though, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what lottery is. I know, is but they've actually it. raised... Like we, no one's even clocked yeah, of that the government has actually raised half a million, exactly. a billion pounds. So the whole idea of a lottery is to raise is money. for the government to make money. Yeah, okay. well, their lottery and like, every time I mean, there's the a national lottery over, is very different because we, obviously there's no tax. Yeah, and they give money. And they do give money to they stuff. They do a lot of charity. So every time there's a rollover, people get more and more excited yeah. buying more tickets, yep. and that's more money for the that's government. More money, that's it. So what if somebody like, what if they could fix it? Come on, you, what, you think the lottery couldn't be fixed? It cause? can be fixed. Anything it's can be It's been fixed, cuz, man. I don't know, I'm not saying it is, but I think they can fix no, it. No, of course they can. I mean, I, I, I mean, to be honest, I, I know someone that's won the lottery before. So, like, How much I couldn't say it's... Um, I think they won the, the second highest. So they didn't win the lottery lottery. They won the second highest. So they got a couple million and whatever, whatever. But, like, so it can be won. Did they change? Um, no, nah, the girl's still a Jesse still, but friggin' uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but, uh, but um, yeah, what's it called? But it, it just shows. Yeah, no, it can be one, but it's probably fixed the majority of the times, man. I think it is anyway. Hmm. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, no. Oh, can we do a lottery? A how to kill an hour lottery? What, I just want to make my own lottery. Then, if that's how people, what are you giving away? I don't exactly. know. However, depends how many people get. How do they kick it off then? A lottery. They start off small and then build it up. So they it? put like a million in and say, "Yeah, you can win a million yeah. And then hopefully a million people buy a dollar ticket, and that's it. That's what. That's exactly what probably happened. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you can win a million. Then no one won that million. You know what I'm saying? And now they are a million up. You know what I'm trying to say? And, and then. They they said yeah you can win one point two but they're more than a million up now they they got the money to give it away mm. plus they got a profit plus people are gonna now buy more than one point two million pounds worth of yeah I'm trying to say so what are you gonna give away cuz have you ever seen that program hustle? the curse of the lottery no nah. it's like people that have won the lottery and just their life's just got fucked after that like that's stupid like, like, I, don't, I don't make money man they go and be like they go on binges like they like they blow it on whatever family members have tried to kill them like it's just like they get the money and just everything that's bad can that could happen to them ends up happening to them what is this called the curse of the lottery i need to watch that you should watch it yeah but i bet it's a bunch of stupid like they it, do say though, like you know what I'm saying, so bad things come with that money. I don't think so, man. I, don't, I think that's complete rubbish. When, Would you I, tell people if you want a lottery? That's another thing, bro. If I don't tell people how much I get paid, <laughs> what <can> I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, forget that, right? Listen, that's what I'm trying to say. You yeah. gotta understand, yeah? yeah. Like, I don't personally want to win the lottery. I wouldn't mind winning some capital, mm. but I don't want to win the lottery. Like people, like all of us said, we won't go broke winning the lottery. We won't have to worry about family and that kind of stuff. They're like, come on, your family hollers at you yeah, is yeah. to get to get into shows. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, bro, you're hosting the future. Can I get... Don't call Don't call me, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look them off straight and everything. So mm. you win the lottery. You don't have to worry about if your family holler at you. You know how to handle it. Yeah. You know what to invest into. You've already got investments right now. You know what I'm saying? So the people that... The people that call it a curse are just idiots that don't know how to handle so, money. To handle money. As simple, as simple as that. Do you feel like... If you walked into a room full of millionaires that earned it and you just won a lottery ticket, you'd feel like a fraud. No. no. Yes. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because the thing is, it's not that I couldn't make a million. Yeah. It's, very, it's not hard to make a million pound, you know. You think it's hard to make a million pounds? That's not very hard. I just hard. mean like you're in a room full of like people that have like got 500 million in the bank account and you've just like won it on the off Do you know chance. why? A lot of those millionaires, that money was handed down to them anyway. And it's not like they more, did it. And furthermore, I know millionaires. I know millionaires that play the lottery because okay, yeah, you know I'm trying to say so. It's 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 not a thing of oh right, you didn't earn it because for one, you put your money into it, it, you invested it into something and got it back. But yeah, but from someone who says they don't like something for free, yeah, bro, I paid a pound. I paid yeah. Two I'm just gonna say a lottery, lottery tickets tickets. practically free. Nah, it's like not, is pound, it? Because it's two pound cuts. You know, listen, listen. Free, with that two pound, bro, I could have bought some flour. I could have bought some 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 tuna. Yeah, and I could have made and, a good dinner. And you could yeah, like, you could have flipped <laughs> that. You could have flipped that into let's use the American thing. You could have flipped two pound into five hundred million. Of course, I could have as quickly as a lottery ticket. No, not that. as quickly as cuz. So it's but I could have flipped. Listen, I'm, what I'm listen, trying to say right, is, right, right, listen, listen to me, yeah. And I said with two pounds, bro, I yeah. can buy some flour and tuna, yeah. I can make <laughs> I can make a bunch of dumplings, yeah, and I can shot them for a good fifty pence each, a pound each dumpling, matter, yeah. depending on where I am. If if a man's really hungry, yeah, and I can sell the tuna dumplings and everything. So come on, bro, like I can flip that. I can make. It's not hard to make a million pounds, cuz. I just find it interesting that with the lot, like for me, I wouldn't care because I'd be like, yeah, I'm lucky. Hey, I'm rich too. Do something about it. But I just mm. feel like it would feel sweeter if I earned it. Of course it would. Of course it would. Because then you never have to look back and wonder. But that's yeah. that's the whole, that's what I'm saying. Like, What if you feel like you've earned it? What if I feel like I've worked so hard, yeah? That's your time. It's just my yeah, time, yeah. innit? Then that's good. That's Do you good. know what I mean? I, f- I would feel that way. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I definitely hear you. But you wouldn't, that's what I'm saying, but you wouldn't want to win the lottery. You want capital to be able to invest it into the businesses, business ideas that you've always I'll had. I'll take the lottery money though. No, no, of course you would. Of course you would. <laughs> like, like, who wouldn't? You know, right. I was trying to say. Would you take the lottery money if you could never do what you do ever again? Like, Joe, you could nah, never do happening. music. Ace, you could never do radio. Wonder. That's not happening. Wonder. For 500 million. That's not happening. I can't. Nah, because I'd go mad. I can't not do business. Cause... You could do something else, but mm-hmm. you couldn't do me, like, you couldn't do music, you can do radio. I think that's a real test of someone's passion then. No, no, I couldn't, I couldn't take the money. I'd probably take the five mil. Five mil. <laughs> <laughs> so you swayed, you, you flipped back. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be involved in it somehow. 
I don't know. I'd probably, yeah, but all right. probably just sit in my room and do my own fake radio show. <laughs> <laughs> and broadcast to no one. <laughs> I don't know. Well, 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 we got Shinner on the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of these boys. Now, Ace me. will be at the dinner table just like rapping <laughs> like it's radio. <laughs> Hello, welcome to dinner time. <laughs> yeah, Ace, no, why not? Why not pay people in to call <laughs> to call out the show? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to do something like that just to keep my. It was funny. I saw a tweet this week where it's like Kim Kardashian was asking all of her followers, like. Yeah who's bought a lottery ticket. Right. And everyone was just gunning her like, hey, stay out of poor people's business. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I rate Kim uh, though, man. Stay the fuck I, out of poor I people's business. Kim, I was you know. laughing. You rate Kim? I proper rate Kim. Please explain. What? What is there not to rate her about? What do you rate about her? I rate that, come on. They, they, like, all right, cool, their dad was a liar and rare, so on, so he had mm, money and everything. Mm, mm. But they got more money than their dad ever had. And to make that amount of money, you have to be business minded. You know what I'm saying? The mum's business minded. No, the mum's business minded. The mum is, 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 is business minded, definitely. But the thing, but the thing is that Chris, you have yeah, to Chris also Jenner be business minded to actually believe yeah. in what they're saying yeah. to do it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like the mum never made Kim Kardashian's app. Kim did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like she probably ran it past the mum, and yeah. the mum said, "Yeah, no, that's sick and everything." The mum never slept with Ray J. Yeah. Kim did. You know what I'm saying? No, it's the truth though. You know what I'm saying? The Kim, the mum never took off all her clothes and everything. Kim did. Yeah. Like, I proper rate that family, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they go hard. It don't matter. They, if, come on, bear girls are sluts, man. That's how, that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, t- I've taken off clothes and, <laughs> and made girls do certain things for nothing. You know what I'm trying to say? For, not even for cab fare. So, like, <laughs> so, 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 what you, <laughs> so, what you think about it? So, what you think about it, yeah? When that family do things that, like, all right, Put it this way, yeah. Kim goes hard. Yeah. Where's Robert Kardashian? Cause my man still is socks. Like oh, you man, shit. cause my man still is socks, cause. So when you think yeah. about it, you're like, from you got a brother yeah. Yeah. that's that's washed up, yeah, not doing anything with the the inheritance that he's got, mm. and then you got Kim going hard and doing everything with the things they got. What what, what isn't there to rate Kim out of? Yeah, I don't know. I I don't not rate her. I just I'm not excited by her, but I think it's because I'm not a demo. I think she's like ladies like Kim. I don't think guys are as into Kim Kardashian. I think it's a big female thing, and the Kardashians a female show. Mm. Um, if I'm gonna be real with you, you guys, because it's a room of realness right now. Mm. I kind of fancy Chris more than than, than Kim. You know, I got I, what? I got it for Chloe. Man. I got it for Chloe. For Chloe. Now nah, you know what? No, yeah, I fancy the mum. Wait, I, yeah, go know, on. Why do you like Chloe? I'll tell you why. Nah, nah, do you know what? Yeah. All right, wait. How how this Kendall now? Ah! Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I fancy Kendall. Billy was quick. Yeah. <laughs> 19, 20, you know what? Yeah, months, you know what? Yeah, but, yeah. but you know, it's, yeah. I'm attracted to power. Yeah. So yeah. I probably would fancy Chris as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm attracted to women with power and are uh, inspirational. So mm. you see, my missus, I love her because she is so inspirational. She works hard. She's got all these ideas and that kind of stuff. That yeah, you know, I to, I can't say a woman and not pick up the missus. <laughs> it's not happening. But but I was saying like. But that Kendall one, yeah, like yeah. she's gone and done her own thing. Mm. Like she's the only one in the family that's actually showing to herself, right? You know, I've got more than just a business man. I've got a talent as well. So she's doing something with it. So, like, what do you rate about? What do you fancy about Chris other than she's a Jesse? Um, I think it's the power thing. Like I feel like she's the mastermind behind the Kardashians, yeah, and I do, I do find like I find power sexy. It is. Like, it is Does that mean sexy. that you 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 bang Oprah? <sighs> Would you bang her? Yeah, but finding someone, se- you know what? Finding someone sexy and, and tearing you know, you know them are two different things, though, isn't it? Do you know what? If I had the opportunity to you, say in my life that I troubled Oprah someone like you. Oprah, I think you I'd did. do it just for the bragging rights. And I would Bloody walk into hell, the room boy. with my chest high and say, you know what? I hit you have to wife Oprah, bro. What? She's a billionaire, fam. Yeah? I'll take no. a graze off that. Huh? <laughs> Oprah is a billionaire, bro. Oprah's a billionaire. Oprah's, Oprah's got like. Oprah's Nine opinion, yeah. billion sitting in the account or something. Bruv, you're like saying that. is she, bruv? But the thing, come on, <laughs> did you see the show where she gave everyone the car? You got a car, you got a car. Like, she said, like, it's yeah. normal, you know what yeah. I'm yeah. saying? What you got, it? it's saying, like, three billion. Three billion. So you got three billion. Do you, know, do you know what? I would, I would, I would, yeah. You'd have to wife Oprah, 100%. Nah. I don't know if I'd wife, I'd have to have some you sort of agreement where I need to have some sort of fun with somebody who isn't. Definitely trying to impregnate her. Ah, yes. 100%. Yes. Why? You're not going to get that money because your kid's going to get that money. Yeah, my, my kids are billionaires. Get, 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 
Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but what's, it, what's it called? America, alimony. Yeah, 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 alimony. yeah but you know what? Is, yeah? But you gotta remember, America's got these laws. Remember, they sue everyone, so they'll yeah. put they'll sure put that law in place. Bro, you know, your dad's yeah. a deadbeat. Yeah, you can't give a penny nah, of it I, to him, I'd have or to else. Go to court. Like, let me. Yeah, see but that's what I'm saying. But she's got the money, cause all right, all right, hey, so right here you go. So you're in a room with Oprah, yeah, yeah. She's taken off all her clothes. Yeah, you've had a drink. You're yeah. ready to go. She takes out paperwork and says, "You've got to sign this before we what before we lay down together." Say, yeah, it's, it's prenup yeah. or it's paperwork saying if I get pregnant from you. No, nah, there's no point if there's a prenup. I must go home unless I can sell the story. We sound like such yeah, you probably could. You, you know, can sell the story. Man, that's what I'm saying, businessman. You got to tell us sell the story. I'll bring out the iPhone, maybe take some pictures of her naked. But, wow, we but, sound like such thoughts, you know. <laughs> now, nah, but you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, it's cool. Ever. That's cool. But I didn't. Uh, this is a podcast. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. Put me in the same situation. Forget the contracts and everything. Just make me horny, cause I'm gonna tell you why not. You know what I'm saying? Like, like day, why not? Like, maybe be single, obviously as well. But, but this is so our like, great, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Come on, my name didn't come out of nowhere, yeah. cause. <laughs> but Joe is going to grind. But as I said, yeah, like being attracted to power and having sex with power are two different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, as I said, I, I, I fancy Kendall for. Because I respect her, I respect yeah. her movements and everything. Don't mean that I would definitely. I mean, I would, but don't mean I would definitely tear her. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's okay. it. So that's that's just how it goes, man. That like, you yeah. can't. Yeah. So to go back, to, yeah, pr- pr- yeah, Chris Jenner over Oprah. I'm just gonna. Yeah. 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 yeah, right, yeah, cool. yeah. I think so. I, don't, I ain't seen Oprah for a minute still. All right, for you guys, the listeners of How to Kill an Hour, the podcast, Audible is offering a free audio book download for a free 30 day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. Yeah, we we spoke about Netflix in today's show. Audible's like the Netflix of for books. Of books. Yes. Yeah. They've got every single book out there, including um called something called the Every Everything Store, which What's I think is, it's a story about Amazon if I can remember rightly, and just how how they get everything that you get to your house so quickly. Think about it. You can go on Amazon right now and buy a book, a bike light, an iPhone, and some protein powder for gym, and it will all come to you within like 24 hours. You can't get everything on Amazon still. You right, Joe. I, I was looking for a Goku top this morning, um, earlier today. I couldn't <laughs> find it still. I, found it on, I did find it on eBay though. All right, so Amazon, can you please put a, Go- <laughs> can you put a Goku top? Uh, audible, can you put a Goku top up? Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, that's basically it. Well, how you can get most things online. Mm, um, the they've majority. also got all the Harry Potter books up on Audible as well. Harry so Potter's dead. Quick, so- <laughs> he is not, bro. He's a kid that happens to find all the cl- all the clues are in place for him, cuz. He doesn't even go hard. I heard that he doesn't even milk the breader in the end, cuz. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I heard, cuz. What's it, Ace? Did, did, did Joe just destroy the whole Harry Potter series? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Does he tear the thing as well? Fully. Fully. Does he take the thing? No, no, no. Don't no think he doesn't take the thing, guys. Uh, no, someone else gets Hermione. This is what I'm trying to say, bro. Find out by going to howtokillanhour.com <laughs> slash free and get your free month's trial and free audio book. That's howtokillanhour.com slash F-R-E-E. Um, Hermione. So, yeah, from people... Speaking of people with power, El Chapo, basically the biggest drug lord since Pablo Escobar, the most wanted man in the world, was caught recently. You heard about this, guys? Yeah, yeah I saw that. There was there was a on it, did not it? Yeah, so he, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he escaped jail twice before um, and he's been returned to a maximum, maximum security Altipano jail. I'm not saying that right. Uh, jail. Brother, I can't believe he's escaped twice. Why not? From jail. But from maximum security. Probably, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. He Neither just, he's one of the biggest drug dealers he's ever been. Yeah, yeah. That's cr- I, just, I just love that, though. I love that. Y- furthermore, he's been quoted saying in an interview in the past, whatever happens twice can happen a third time. Exactly. So sick. But more importantly than that, like, there's been a lot of stuff flying around the internet about Sean Penn. For, what films has Sean Penn been in, Billy? I know he's been in, well, been in Gangster Squad. What else, he, what else has he been in, Billy? Mystic River. I don't know. No, don't know. Film 2003. It's quite, it's quite a good film. It's probably not, though. It was in 2003. What, what else has he been in? He's been in loads more than that more recently. Carlito's Way. I don't know no. that film. Really Carlito's Way? Yeah. Okay, Okay. Carlito's Way. What else? Most recent film called The Gunman. The Gunman? I've film not watched that. 2008. <laughs> these <laughs> these, these, these IMDb's films, dead fast. It's Sean Fang. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, that's why, maybe that's why he hooked up. But yeah, he hooked up with um, El Chapo early, uh, late last year. Uh, they met up in the Mexican jungle for Rolling Stone. And basically, officers have said that his interview 
that he had helped them catch El Chapo. But the internet's been kind of roasting Sean Penn. Some people have been saying it's a disgraceful thing for him to be shaking like this super drug lord's hand, seeing yeah. as he's an actor. What do you reckon about this? Nah. He wanted money, cuz. Why not? He probably had a problem, bruv. You know what's there? That Chapo was probably supplying him with the problem. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll sort you out. Just put me out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's it. And also, you're saying you can't believe he escaped out of jail twice, bruv. Listen, allow it. If you're a security guard at jail and I'm El Chapo, and I say, bruv, listen, let me walk out that gate, I'll give you a bill. Like, what, you know what I mean? Let me walk out, cuz. If it could, This is what I'm saying. Do you know what I love about one of the breakout stories? Check this for a breakout story. He, one of the breakouts, he climbed through a hole in the bathroom floor into a special tunnel that had been designed, yeah, with a special motorbike in it that was designed to be in this tunnel and he rode out of jail. There we go, bro. How Look. sick there is that? There we go, bro. You know what I'm saying? He rode a motorcycle out of jail. Well, that is his series is going to be better than Narcos. <laughs> it's going to be better than Narcos. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be better than Narcos. It's going to be better than Breaking Bad. <laughs> it's just going to be called El Chapo. But seriously, though, would you have done an interview if it got offered to you, El Chapo? Joe? Yes. Would you have done it, Ace? Well, yes. I done an interview. Really? Yeah, why not? Where would you would you play it on your Saturday morning show on BBC Radio One Extra? I'll get drops, fam. Oh no, what what wait, 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 wait. Are you asking me if I'd do an interview with a drug dealer, bruv, to bait him up? No, 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 no. no. It wasn't intentionally to bait him up. Bruv, it was just that's a, just that's a bait up. Bruv, come no, on. If he wanted the interview, he wanted the he, interview. Nah, forget he's, that, man. He wants I ain't helping no one snitching themselves, man. Ah! No, <laughs> that's what that like, is, cuz. No, but he's already the thing is, he's already known as a drug dealer. It's not like He's confirming he's not, it, guys. Yeah, like. no, but he's, co- he's in jail. So it's not even like, it's not like we don't know. Everyone knows. He's already gone down for it. But he wants to tell his side of the story. So I'm uh, not just uh, the interview. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's the right thing. Why not? Why not? Why he got caught? Why did he get caught? Because he got, um, he was making a biopic by, about his own, about himself. Yeah. Being a drug dealer. Yeah. He, he got gassed caught. off Narcos, basically. So he, he saw Narcos. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He, yeah. So Billy just, told, yeah, Billy just told us that he got, he got caught because he's doing a biopic. So what, he was shooting it and they found him. Yeah, they caught him. So basically he watched Narcos, got pissed off yeah. and said, no, my life is Watch way more than this. What would you ask him in an interview then? Well, I would ask him yeah. where the money is. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't know. Teach me. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just, I think... I don't know, he seems like an interesting character. I'd want to know if there's a, p- a point, if there was like a pivot point in his career where it all could have gone down the pan and he and how he got out of it. Because mm. he must have been in some sticky situations. Because mm. St- apparently he, you know, he's known for like one shot kills to the head if anyone makes a mistake, oh, so let alone tries to cross him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but when you got money, you got four guys though, innit? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not really, you got brothers that are willing to go down to, so you can sort the out in their family, innit? So that's, yeah. that's just how it goes. Interesting. Interesting. Well, who's, the most, who's the most notorious person you think you've shook hands with? Uh, I don't really want to say names on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know who mine is, but I would never say Because you really? <laughs> I would never right. say What's the most notorious person that you could say? I'm, just, I'm not saying... Yeah, I'm just, I don't even want to answer that. Really? But the person that, like... I have a picture with this person. There you go on. It's, it's terrible <laughs> really it's, it's, it's like the, the thing is like you won't think of it but it's actually the worst person I could ever be stood in the picture next to yeah it's bad yeah go on I got, picture, w- I got a picture with eh uh, <laughs> shit oh shit you know the worst part of it is I got my arm around him and I'm putting my thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> shit man I can't place in that bro, <laughs> delete, no, wow. delete, bro so you got a picture with him and yeah everything. this was like some one extra shit like he came down and this wow! Is Have you taken that. it offline? No, I don't think it's online. You will never find it. Because <laughs> I extra, one extra to make sure that was taken offline. Oh online. yeah! I wow! I can't. You can't find it. Wow! Crazy! I don't know who the most evil person I've shook hands with is that I could say on this podcast. I want to meet Shug though. Would you? Would you get? <laughs> would you get a picture with Shug? No, no. I think Shug is evil. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He, I think he, Sugar's an I evil think guy. Sugar's a survivor, man. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? He's doing whatever he's got to do to do what he's got to do, man. Bro, he's, he's, he, he's from the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely one of those hangers in the back of the TV, brothers. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. He's, he's doing what he has to do, man. Sugar Knight it. scares me. Sugar if I was in a room with Sugar Knight, I would feel uneasy. Seriously? Yeah, man. I would. In a, If it wasn't a public place, I would feel uneasy. Like if he walked into this room right now and just stood in the corner and looked at us with his arms folded, I'd feel a bit uneasy right now. Bro, what can Shug do that you can't? 
Hang you out a window. Hang you out a window. Look, get you to sign a contract. What? Listen, what, if we all bundle him, window? if we all bundle him, we could get you know we couldn't hang him out a window. Oh, okay, he's that but big. They all drop cuz and he's dead. He's I said it goes cuz. But let's get him. Let's get him <laughs> to the window, Joe. Out. He did get knocked out. When we got by, knocked out by, by a, the barber. By a bar, yeah. The barber with the dreads. But he was big as well, though, wasn't he? Yeah, for real. Yeah. But ain't no man stronger than God, man. Love it, man. Sugar ain't I on this thing like that. Yeah, I love that talk, but I'd still leave the room if you didn't. I'd leave you guys to it. You, 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 you sugar and God. It sounds like you're going. It, it sounds like you're going gym for no reason. Though. Yeah. I'm, just saying, I'm, just, just saying. I'm just running at the moment. Marcus I'm runs. Sip, I'm sipping that. Sip, sipping the juice. All right. So if El Chapo was in the room and he and he offered you a handshake, would you get a handshake and a picture at this moment in time? Would you, Joe? I'll t- I'll t- t- shake his hand because he shot my hand. Bro, I don't need to take pictures. Of, I don't need to ask him for a picture. You wouldn't ask El Chapo for a picture, bro. You gotta understand. I don't care what people have done. I respect mm. what people do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take pictures for the sake of, rah, you rah, you, you rare, rare, that song. So like, that's, that's just, what, what is that? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, cool, I took a picture with Stan and everything, but that's a different story. Together. That's going to be worth money. That mm. picture ain't going to be worth money later. I, I don't need a picture of my man, man. Mm. That's it. Would you, would you refuse a picture? If no, was why like, not? Hey, why, why, why would that? Picture why would that? I'm, bro, I'm from Peckham, man. I told you this stuff because <laughs> I'm probably on the, on the on that wall on that station, man. It's cool, man. Interesting. So if the if the El Chapo series drops, mm, you'd yeah, be up for watch watching that. that. A Netflix binge, yeah. I didn't really enjoy Narcos that much. Still, Swear so. down. It was all right. It wasn't. Sh- it wasn't rubbish. It wasn't. But um, I love Narcos. But yeah, I just I don't really care about. I'm past the drug life, man. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say I don't need to see Pete, everyone. Selling drugs and rare and so on. So I've seen the paid and fools. I've seen, you know, all that kind of stuff there. So mm. when it comes to, it's the same old story over and over again. There's one smart guy. There's one guy who gets greedy and bang, everyone ends up dead or in jail. Story of life. That's it. Story of life. G, how long do you think it's going to be till El Chapo's out again? Because he broke out twice, can break out again. I don't know. They, they might have a more serious brother on him. Remember, you got, nah, there's probably brothers that properly seriously want him in there, isn't it? So... There's talk saying that the Mexican, Mexican government just wants him dead. Yeah, see, there we go. He probably might die in jail. Yeah. Uh, murked. So, yeah, what a way to finish the show. Joe, Grind. How can people check out your music again, please? Joe Grind SM1. Check that out. YouTube, SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All the stuff that the young people are on nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you said I showed my age in it. Why yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a good periscoper as well. I have to say, you're quite funny. On when, I, when I find something, the periscope, yeah. But you know, that's, that thing drains your battery, bro. Mm. <laughs> drains it, cuz. <laughs> Uh, so yeah there's plenty of ways to kill an hour out there I'll be Marcus Bronzy and I'll be DJ Ace I've been Joel Grant and uh, yeah check us out next week sure 